Hey, creative friends, Kara Plichinich here. And today I want to talk to you about Adobe Bridge and just give you a super quick overview of what it is, why it's awesome, and how you can just get started using it. So Adobe Bridge is part of Creative Cloud's suite applications. It's actually its very own standalone application. So even if you are not a subscriber and you don't have any of the other apps, you can download and use Adobe Bridge completely for free. So what is it? Essentially, it is a really pimped out file browser. So what does that mean? Well, it's great for browsing files the same way that you would on a Mac using Finder or on a PC using Explore. So the same way I would go in here and just be like, what do I have in this folder? You can do that and so much more in Bridge. So in that way, it is completely different than Lightroom. Lightroom is a database. So you have to import things into Lightroom to create a catalog. But in Bridge, things just are because all we're doing is browsing our hard drive. So when you first open it up, you're going to see a mess of things that look something like this. So this is the default essentials workspace. And in the center, you can see the content panel where we are browsing the contents of my downloads folder. And I know that we're looking at my downloads folder because I have it selected here in my favorites panel, but also because I have my path bar panel open. And if we follow the breadcrumbs, we can see we're looking at the downloads panel. This is also indicated here at the top of the contents panel. But essentially, we just have a bunch of different panels open. All of these different panels are available under the window menu, just like in any other Adobe application. So you can see here, I've got a check next to favorites. So that is how I can open this panel. So if you don't have a favorites panel viewable on your screen, just go to window favorites and it will pop up. You can also of course move and drag these around the same way you would on any other Adobe application there's kind of a lot going on over here. So I'm going to show you how I like to set mine up, which is basically to get rid of as many things as possible. So I'm going to close this panel group. And I'm going to close this close panel, close panel. All right, we're getting there. So I like to have almost everything closed. Except maybe my filter panel over here. So I like to have my favorites panel open and my filter panel open. And then of course, the actual browser window is what's known as the content panel. So I'm currently browsing my downloads folder. I also like to have this open here. This is the path bar. So this is how I know what folder I'm browsing on my system. Right. So here I'm, I'm looking at my downloads folder. If I go back to my user folder, I can open up my documents or whatever I need to here. There's also a folder panel that you can have open and you have access to, you know, everything that's on your system. I will say that this tends to make Bridge, at least the current version of Bridge, run kind of slowly. So I'm finding that it might be wise to keep that closed. So I usually have the main folders that I want right here. And, you know, if I can't get to something from here, maybe I go to my documents folder and then I can find it in here and jump to it. Obviously, I have a Creative Pro folder here in my favorites, but if I wanted to remove it, I could just right click and choose remove from favorites. And if I go back to my documents, I can see that folder here. If I want to add it back to favorites, I can just drag it and drop it in here. So it makes it really easy to jump around. If we take a look at downloads here, you can see I've got a gazillion different types of files in here. I've got PDFs, I've got JPEGs, I've got MP3s, etc. So maybe instead of browsing through this whole thing, which of course we can control the size of the thumbnails using sliders down here, maybe I just want to filter. So I can come down here to file type And I can say, hey, Bridge, just show me all of the JPEGs. And wow, I have 728 of them in here. 
And I bet most of them are really deletable. Yeah, there's a lot in here. So I might need to spend some time cleaning that up. But anyway, hopefully you can see how this is really handy. Another thing that is super great is it how easy it is to preview any of these, right? So if I'm looking at an image and I'm like, I need to find, like see a bigger version of that, I can click on it. And then if I just tap the space bar, I get an instant full screen preview and I can then tap the space bar again to close the preview. So that is super helpful, particularly when it comes to PDF documents. So if I click to filter for PDF documents and if we want to open up any one of these and have a look. For example, here's my old Max workbook. If I preview it by just tapping the space bar, we get a preview of the cover. And then if I press my down arrow keys, we actually get page by page previews. So I can flip through my whole PDF just in this little preview. So again, that was spacebar to get the preview and then arrow keys to tap through the different pages. So you can also do that when you're previewing InDesign documents too. You can actually flip through the pages of the InDesign document depending on how many pages of a preview you included in your preferences when you made the file. Of course, one of the things that makes Bridge so great is the way that it interacts with all the uh, other Adobe apps. So for example, I could select a slew of images here and I could come up to file, place, and if I choose InDesign, I will automatically be swapped over to InDesign where my cursor will appear already preloaded with these images ready to place. We can also come up here to tools. We could go down to Photoshop. We could batch process these images, generate contact sheets, launch the image processor in Photoshop. Lots of great ways that this stuff can really interact. And one other thing that I like to do a lot that really saves me is, let's go down here and filter for Photoshop documents. So we can see that there are seven different PSD files that I've got in here, including this silly image I made during the toilet paper shortage. Remember those days? So I made this poster I never did anything with it, but it does exist. And you'll notice it's a PSD. So if I somehow needed to generate a JPEG and you know what? I really don't want to have to launch Photoshop and deal with all of that. I can just right click right on this image and I can choose export to and let's just choose custom export. You'll notice there are some presets here, but let's pretend there aren't. We can choose custom export. We can save it in the same location here. And we're going to choose the JPEG format. We can choose, you know, our compression settings if we want to scale the image at all. And then we can just hit start export. And that's going to go ahead and do its job. This is just a list of any pending exports. We'll just close it. And now if we go back and filter, we now have 729 files and I've got them currently sorted by the modification date. So that means this one's on top and there it is. It's now a JPEG. So it's a great way if you, you know, forgot to export something and you don't want to have to launch Photoshop just to go export that one file, you can do it right from Bridge. So I hope that encourages you to explore Bridge. You can find it in your application folder. I like to have mine just ready to go down here on my dock. And you can see I've got it right here, even in front of Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator because I use it all the time because I find it so helpful. And hopefully now you'll find it helpful too. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.